The canine unit of the Uganda police trains dogs to track and trail suspects, sniff out narcotics, detect explosives, retrieve evidence from scenes of crime and for crowd control. However, several voices of frustration have been sounded from the public, claiming that Uganda police dogs are ineffective. The concern follows recent murders in Masaka. Godfrey Frederick Muganzi, a resident of Buziga, is a dog trainer and can detect a working dog through experience. A working dog should not be fearful. A dog that does explosive and tracking is not afraid of people. It can walk within a number of people, so many of them, and it is not afraid of them. And a working dog that does that does not attack people. It is a pet. Anybody can pet it, but it takes its commands well. I can train a tracking dog. I can train another such dog. Uh, that is explosive detection, narcotic search. I can train that. I can train obedience. I can train agility, uh, basically and attack dogs. But Muganzi adds his voice to the general public in crying for accountability from the police dogs unit to prove the effectiveness of their dogs in investigating crimes. Muganzi, who followed events in the Masaka murders, remarked that the police canine unit did not deploy enough dogs, which is likely to affect the results. The dog that was taken to Masaka is called Gilingo. Now, Gilingo is a bloodhound. When you take one dog and four handlers, that means when the dog has stopped to work in the 20 minutes, it has stopped to work, what are these handlers going to do? Those dogs are supposed to be tested on qualification on what they are being said they are performing. They need to find out when they call it a tracking dog, how far can it track? The massacre dogs, I think the comment was uh, either made out of context. Of, of context. But all the dogs we have in Masaka area are less than six years. And this is the normal working years of a police dog. The gringo we have here is a bloodhound, four years, and one of our most efficient dogs, the bloodhound. So that's, that was a lie. I can confidently confirm that. He believes the canine unit has not done enough to sensitize the public about preserving the scene of crime and further explains how this affects dog operations. These dogs need to come and find the place when it is still a virgin place, when people have not come to contaminate it. Because when neighbors come, they are going to come, some are from the garden, they are going to live there, some have different perfumes. Neighbors have come to help, but not give them help. They have come to see, to observe and see our neighbors, that's the help they give. Police should take it up and tell these people it is a crime for you to go to a murder scene when you are not an officer of investigation. We have been doing these demos. We have been in Mbare, we have been in Jinja, we have been in the Savannah area in Ruero. We have been attending dog shows in Kampara, in Jinja. But since the lockdown began, we couldn't gather people. However, Mugume believes the unit is doing its best to sensitize the public. There is also doubt that these dogs are subjected to periodical assessment. According to Dr. Martin Mugume, the head of the canine department, the dogs and their handlers are subjected to periodical assessments to ensure they are effective. Every six months, all the dogs undergo assessment to determine their suitability to continue work and they are issued with certificates of competence together with the handler. Should during the assessment a dog or the handler prove to be incompetent, uh, they are recalled for retraining and reassessment. And should the dog prove not to be Competent even after training, it is retired. At the canine unit in Zambia, police demonstrated to us how the dogs work. 
several pipes were lined, but only one contained an explosive material for the dog to detect. We interchanged the position of the pipe that has the material and the dog kept on detecting it. And the dog is supposed to identify it on a single sniff. Wonderful dog! Wow! You can now take it away. We further took away the pipe and the dog did not point at any pipe until we placed it again. And you can, if it's not there, a dog will say it's not there. Nagalama Canine Breeding Center is where dogs are bred. Training a dog in a particular specialty starts at six weeks old and a trained dog will be ready for deployment at one and a half years. They retire at different intervals depending on the kind of the breed. Some dogs retire at nine years, some goes to, 20, to, to, to 12 years, others even go to 17 years. So they don't retire at the same pace. It depends on the breed. The breeds include the German Shepherds, Marinois, which are a special variant of the Belgian Shepherd, an English Springer Spaniard, and a Bloodhound. The unit is also trying to develop more capacities where need has been identified. In two areas. One is search and rescue dog training, especially when there is like a disaster, like a landslide, like a collapsing building where people are suspected to be buried, either dead or alive. We are still at the concept level to develop arson detection dogs, like a fire outbreak, and is caused by a human being. Transportation is a challenge, resulting into getting to scenes of crime late. But according to Dr. Mugume, the main challenge to the unit is that dog work is dirty and requires people with passion for dogs. Such people are not easy to come by. And usually when a handler does not attach that value, you don't get very good results. The head of the canine section expressed willingness to sensitize the public on the capability to have dogs which can be hired by security agencies to boost their capacity. That's very fine and that's something that I'm going to bring to police management. Like I've told you, already some companies have these dogs, but usually for guarding and explosive detection. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.